Hello YouTube, it's Harley here and I'm bringing you an episode of Ebony. So since last episode we have finished BP, my town hall is now level 5. And I'm doing a little bit of upgrading around the base, mainly the resources. Uh, it's a pain. And I'm doing something different right here. Uh, if you look in the marketplace, uh, iron is lower than lumber now. So that stinks, it really does. So... I think I'm going to be lazy about this, and I'm just going to split these in half. You do not want to do that, but I'm going to, <laughs> because you can't maximize uh, your production the way you should, uh, because, uh, like, uh, valleys and stuff, the valleys is what really gets you going, is uh, that 23% increase, but a percentage doesn't really help you if you have your resources split in half. So, But I want to be versatile, so I'm just going to, going to split them in half. Uh, I talked to some Alliance members, and uh, they disagreed, but, oh well, it's my city. <laughs> and if it if it doesn't work out, then I'll take it down, and we'll put something else. But iron is annoying to make. It really is. I'd rather have a lumber city, and I'm glad the marketplace is switching like this, because maybe I can switch it around. All right, but more importantly, uh, I have my first attacks heading out right now. They're attacking these level 1 NPCs. Uh, there are ballistas with a few transporters. I went ahead and scouted that city uh, because that was going to be a challenge. And I want to see what's in there. So we'll grab that scout. And then I wonder if it's going to want me to attack anything. Oh, well, maybe it will. So we're going to scout this one. I'm attacking this to level 1. And I'm attacking this level 1. I'm using some of my heroes. And uh, I've gotten some decent heroes recently. Like I got a base of 72 um, politics hero, which has surpassed this guy, uh, so I'll probably, probably, uh, level him up and then dump that one, and then I have a better attack hero now, uh, Donna is a base 69, which is better than, uh, Barton, Barton's a base 68, and plus I need to put holy water on these people to see if, uh, I can increase their attack anymore, so, gotta keep that in mind. Alright, scout report for this barbarian city that uh, the attacks about the land. As you can see, 100,000 food, uh, 20,000 lumber, and 55,000 gold. Um, so, not too much resources, to be honest. Uh, but the thing that you're going to get is experience, and that's what you want. Uh, and here's the troop count you can see. Um, not, not too many. The main thing is these cavalries. They can really hurt you. And then it's good to see with the hero. The hero's level 3, so that means it's a pretty low hero. So it'll land in a minute, and uh, that'll be solid. Now let's see. I've been selling and buying resources. That's why I have so many. Uh, if you're curious, you just got to play the marketplace. You just got to sell and buy, and uh, try to get like your resources to a certain level. Like I want a lot of uh, stone and uh, and food because, um, well, you need food to feed your troops, but they're really cheap. So I always try to hoard those, mainly stone too, because stone, if you don't watch out, you'll run out. So I just I just hoard it. I just make as much as I can. Uh, and then for the other two, I try to keep them balanced. I sell and buy uh, as, I, as I need it. And uh, I try to look ahead in the future to see if it's, it's needed or not. I've been trying to build archer towers because they're the, kind of the most important. Um, so I've been building about 20 a piece. I'm going to try to keep those going. Especially like during the night and stuff. I want to get those built up. Uh, and then I'm trying to keep these uh, small barracks going with either warriors or archers. Either one. And I may start building a few pikemen and swordsmen. To try to get them to about a thousand. Uh, but once we start attacking level fives. Trust me guys. Resources will start piling in. There's our first attack. It landed. And we won. Uh, so let's see. Zero troop casualties. That's what you want to look at. That means... Uh, my attack that I sent out, uh, let me go to a report. I don't think I showed you exactly. Army movement. Okay. Uh, my attack that I sent out is 100 transporters, just overkill. I don't need that many, but I sent 100 anyways. And 50 ballistas. So we're bringing back, uh, also if I can go back here, I can just look at what we're bringing back. We're bringing back all that loot that was in there. So pretty much a free attack. That's the idea of farming. Uh, you want to attack these uh, these levels for free and you get all the resources <clears throat> now here's uh, some level threes uh, we should have enough to attack those guys I have to use all my ballistas though um, and I'm I'm making more uh, but 
well, we don't have enough for a level four or level five just yet. And there's not many level fours around here. The only level four I found was this one right here. Level fours and level fives and level sixes look the same. Uh, so you only can attack a level four and level five with ballista. I believe there's a level six. Level six right here. That right there will kill you. <laughs> yeah, and they look the same. So you have to be really careful not to accidentally attack a level six because it hurts you. It really does. It'll t it'll it won't wipe out your uh, whole ballista army, but it'll put a damage into it for sure. And it's just not fun having to remake ballistas once you have your whole farming base set up. All right. So as far as ballistas, I've been uh, building some. I built just a few. I was wanting to send off my troop, uh, my hero. If we look at Barton, uh, he's ready to upgrade just because we attacked. Uh, I didn't see how much experience did I gain out of that. 1,400, so that's pretty solid experience. It's not much. Who would need to attack about 4 or 5 to level up each time? And, of course, that's going to get bigger and bigger. Uh, you can attack uh, level 5s and get quite a bit more. Also, what you can do is uh, when you're attacking NPC, you can send about 2,000 warriors and they'll bump up the experience by like 30,000 experience. I believe that's correct. We'll test it uh, whenever we get to that stage, but we can't currently. <laughs> so let's see. I have 185 ballistas and they take about, I can make three, I can make 10. So. If I do the math on that, I can see how many, how much longer it'll be. It'll probably be about two more days before we have enough blisters to attack a five, I believe. All right, so let's see what else can we talk about to this next attack lands. Yeah, I talked about splitting that up. Um, it's not really ideally what I want to do, but that's how I'm going to get it. I don't think I ever talked about this right here. Um, this is uh, the warehouse, and you can actually change the proportions up. You want most of your proportions to be your food. So if somebody attacks you and takes all your uh, all your resources, they won't be able to plunder your warehouse, of course, because your warehouse is protected, and uh, your warehouse will keep so much food there is. Of course, it's a level 1 warehouse, so it's not holding that much food, but the capacity is 9,000 9, if... Uh, if uh, someone attacks and takes all my resources, all that I have, they cannot take 9,500 500. They cannot take it, period, unless they have uh, this research, which uh, some people might still have, a pi uh, pirateering. Uh, but they won't be able to take that. So, therefore, my troops will, be, or my troops will have a little bit of time uh, with a, a little food left so they don't die out as quickly. Maybe I can get online before then. Uh, so... The higher you have it, the better, but honestly, uh, I'm probably going to destroy this thing and add another barrack in because I don't need it. <laughs> I need more barracks, uh, especially whenever I'm going to start uh, farming like lump sums of uh, troops. So our troops finished up here, um, which kind of stinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue about 20 of them, and I'm going to split barracks so we can have troops constantly going. Okay, I'm going to need to make more than that. <laughs> Let's go about 200, and then uh, we'll have to wait till those are done, actually. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I just want them to running while uh, my hero's on return, and once my hero returns, I can uh, uh, get him to actually upgrade the troops. Uh, let's see, what's our highest attack? We actually should give Beverly the uh, benefit right here, because she has a higher attack than I Alma. So, let's see these finish up just yet all right so they finished so let's make about 200 and then split with idle and hopefully that'll take four minutes uh, yeah he still he still has 18 minutes to come back so our second attack is about to land here any second seven six five all right so it should be just the same as the other one and it'll pop up right here uh, same, same as the other one. We want it and their own return with some more food and stuff. The main thing you really want with this, I mean, the resources are okay, but the experience is really what's going to really help you out, especially on, on Beverly. Uh, Beverly here, well, not Beverly, uh, Donna, because Donna is such a low, uh, level. She's going to be able to level up really fast uh, with attacking just just attacking level 1s. That's why you want a good base hero, so uh, so that'll work out for you. Uh, it'll make it easier to level up. 
All right, so basically what I'm going to do, uh, I think you can level, you can get the experience like every hour. If you attack every hour, you can get the experience. But to be able to get the loot again, to get the loot again, you have to wait eight hours. These guys don't fill up until eight hours. But I believe every hour you can attack them to get the experience. Uh, don't quote me on that, but you can probably look on the wiki and find it, uh, but I'm sure it's there. Alright, so uh, that's really all I got for this uh, so far. I don't have much else we can do until those heroes get back. And honestly, I don't I don't want to wait that <laughs> I don't want to wait 20 minutes to finish this episode because uh, Fraps is killing my computer. And uh, it's, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, so when these troops get back, I'm going to level them up. I'm going to build some more warriors, try to keep those guys going, or archers to see the one. Depends on my, my resources, of course. And... Uh, uh, when they get back, also I'm gonna fill this barracks back, this level nine barracks up with the uh, ballistas and just keep those going as as fast as possible. Uh, before we go, uh, I do have some more amulets over the course of the couple of days, and there's really nothing outrageously good on here. Of course, this is the best one, but it's honestly not that great. So that's uh, Anabasis, I think that's how you pronounce it. It just upgrades your hero uh, quicker. Of course, you want to use it. Oh my god, a thousand cents. A thousand cents. Keep going. Oh no! Come on, you trolling game! You're trolling me! Oh my god! I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh, um, this game. I, I'm screenshotting this with Gazo. I cannot believe that. That is going to kill me. Okay, don't don't go to the new tab just yet. There, okay, it fl flickered, but I clicked back. Oh, okay, a thousand cents. If you don't know, a thousand cents is a hundred dollars in this game, I believe. So if you go to my items, 25 cents. If you go to... I knew it was going to do that. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure a thousand cents is a uh, hundred dollars. So how about we ask? How you can always ask your is a hundred dollars, right? <laughs> so oh man, guys, that that sucks. <laughs> that's like uh, that's like I don't know how to explain it, guys. <laughs> that's a big deal in this game. I've won a thousand cents on an alternate account uh, a long time ago, uh, but recently I've never won it. Uh, so it it stinks. I'm wondering if these guys will respond if they know or not. Uh, but I don't. Know, I'll probably uh, copy that link and uh, put it in chat and let everybody look at it how close I was. But oh well. <laughs> oh well. Dang that game. I swear. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're finally up to farming NPCs. Hopefully, we get to level 5 pretty quick. And uh, that'll really get us on the sway on this game. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I'll talk to you guys later.